Sure All right. right, here we go. Should I get off? Everybody, go crazy. Is this microphone going? Yeah. Theophobia. Hi, welcome to Theophobia, very special six-piece band debut extravaganza, presented by Kadoko Incorporated, in association with the New York City Arts and Media Foundation. We hope you enjoy our live entertainment program. We encourage you to attend some of our upcoming programs, such as the world premiere of Cry Baby Cry, a new independent feature film from Kadoko's very own auteur director, Milton St. Milton Sr. A heartwarming family comedy, Cry Baby Cry, tells the decade-spanning story of Baby Millicent, a zero-year-old baby whose age never changes. With quick but lighthearted humor, Cry Baby Cry is a film the whole family can enjoy. Starring Rachel Rossi, Jeffrey Scott Fitzsimmons, and introducing Cindy Kerrigan as Baby Millicent. Purchase tickets at www.cuddleco.org today. Now, please welcome to the stage, Theophobia.
I have this new thing that I made up, which is called Video um, Controller. It's pretty exciting. This is definitely a new phase, a new era, so to speak, of Theophobia. What's, guess what's different about us? That's right, actually. But we'll get to that later. You're all right. <laughs> you know, I, uh, except for... I took a hit of salvia before the set, and, uh... Daniel. I wasn't Back feeling, there. I wasn't feeling anything, but then I just... So I just kept taking them, and, uh... Now I'm kind of starting to feel it a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah nice. I'm actually pretty anxious about the salvia thing, because I'm an empath. <laughs> Whatever Matt feels, I feel probably ten times as hard. It's actually called uh, narcissism. I think that's what you're talking about. So, ha ha is what I said to that. The song that's called uh, God of War. Yeah. you're a child. So that's your that's the way that you like to think about but, things like that. I well, actually I was born I would say slightly before you. I'm, I'm talking by about an men hour mentally. Or so. Me mentally. But how are you gonna say that when you're the one who should be respecting your elders? I think you know you say this about respecting your elders, I think you forget 
that oftentimes our elders are incompetent, like as in as in uh, people More like incontinent people in uh, se in Senate and uh, in Senate and uh, in uh, the Electoral College, which is I just learned about today. It's really it's interesting stuff. Uh, this new song it's actually a new a brand new song. Believe it or not, where'd she go? I see. Oh, it's another, you know what guys, it's not funny. It's not funny when the joke is about me. The joke can't be about me, because then it sucks, okay? And I don't appreciate the jeers and laughter. It's not nice to me. I don't know what's going on back there. I'm not even going to dignify it with a fucking response. Because I know that's how shallow it is. And childish and rude. This is just something that she always does as a ploy for attention. And I choose to respond calmly, like, an, like an adult, by the way. Like a fucking adult. Hey. Which nobody here seems like. Oh. Now sure. I'm hurt. Why not? At Coney Island. This is actually a... Uh, and it's Matt's fault. Right? We have to do music! Okay. <laughs> That's what we came here to do. It's a brand new song that Dylan wrote called uh, Most Wanted Woman in Estonia. Check it out. See how you like that. Try that. Uh, those apples are for size. It's true, yeah, actually, that's true. Okay. One, two, three, four. The most wanted woman in Estonia. She was loved by a big man somehow. So wanted woman in Estonia. Lies on the drop of pride of pleasure now. No, I, I have a condition. I I am very hot to the touch. Is it, what is that smell? Yeah, what happens is that I I am very like bur touching me feels like you're touching like burning metal coming out of the oven, and I do smell like piss and shit. That is true. I don't even understand. Are you people? People do say a lot of things about me, but like I do have to give it. I do have to admit that I do actually because of the condition that makes me over 500 degrees Fahrenheit, I am also, are you, I, I do also smell like piss and shit. Are you that producing is piss and shit right now, or do you just, is it just no, a smell? No, see, that's the thing is, I don't actually shit or piss myself. Um, I'm, uh, I just smell like that because of the condition. 
<laughs> and it's, it's not, I just want to say, it's not natural for a person to be that amount of heat. Chris, can I get like a, can I get like a bongo beat? Run its course. All right. This next song inspired by uh, Meatloaf. Who knows who that is? <laughs> Meatloaf. Okay. Come on. This next song is inspired by Meatloaf. Thank you. In, in, a, in a way that I think it will really take us to the top. 
Um, so let's take it away. Okay. Uh, with a tune called. And did I write the song as well with you? Uh, no, you actually wrote it by yourself. But you did ah! say, please come uh, bring in those blazing hot guitar licks and riffs to play over my brand new song. And boy, did I deliver. Okay. Okay, it's not fun. Oh, we could do it together, so. Thank you. 
so, well, compliments will get you everywhere, so. Dad, what about you? Fantastic. Wow. You, Dad, am I allowed to play the next song? You're allowed to do whatever you want. <laughs> is it because I live, is it because you told me that I live by myself now and I don't have to ask you permission to do songs in my set anymore? <laughs> that, that's part of it. Because I'm 26 years old? That's like a weird. That's like a weird thing to interject right now. Kind of like <laughs> downer moments. What is that? It's not nice. Well, anyway, I mean, I'm sorry that they hate you because I love you, Robert. It's, right, it's just a weird. It's just like I wasn't really talking about your parents, was it? Guys, <laughs> can you believe this terrific group that we have with us tonight? <laughs> amazing. audience you gotta have a cover song and what does gen z love more than like than like mid 70s rock that started at like number 46. <laughs> not much more i answer that completely in earnest i don't know what people like more than that i don't think i get the joke if the joke is what you're trying to make listen matt i'm gonna tell you this once and i'm not gonna tell you again you don't have to tell me twice you don't have to tell me twice you don't have to tell me twice. You don't have to tell me twice. Chris? Oh, 
No, 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 no. I was just asking you to chime in. Say something. You don't have to say it to the microphone. Don't, don't tell him twice. Please. You say, Chris, say this. Chris, say this. You don't have to tell me twice. You don't have to tell me twice. That's pretty okay. Carl, the voice uh, is a little Alan silly, say, but Alan, say you don't have to tell me twice. Alan, don't speak no English. It's very hard during the band practice. Very hard during the band practice. What we wanted. This is a uh, song that's actually called. Because uh, Alan is from Bajuki Land. Kind of a Tony, kind of a Tony Zarek reference. Kind of a callback to some earlier when it happened. Uh, okay, this is a song called Love Ages. It's a Love Ages. Who cares? Yeah. I love you. I'm sorry that I did that. 
I actually, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to. I kind of got carried away. We got everything. We got family yeah. drama. We got band drama. Um, let's, uh, we have a song. I just called Go Left My Son with no band. It's too complicated, and you know, this wonderful band and us, we only had about two and a half practices, so I think considering that, we're really cleaning up tonight. For real. Our band is amazing. All of you guys, David, Robert, Evil Sean, Normal Alan, y'all are all amazing. Okay, this song is called Go Left My Son. Yes. Kind of vaudeville style comedy.
what I would have said to you. Let's not let guilt consume us, you know? I think let guilt consume me. I have, I have to do another auditing session. You know, I just want to say the band is doing great, and I have no problems with you guys. You are wonderful, but Dylan Mars Greenberg is impossible to work with. And this, for that reason, it's this true, because I did the... Matt's... Listen, Matt's mad at me because of the accident with the crane at our show at TPI. Yeah, it did kind of piss I, me off. I might have gotten a little carried away with the crane. <laughs> you might have gotten a little carried I away saw, with the maybe a I did big see, ass crane. Maybe I saw a little, a little construction crane outside of TBI, and then I, I looked at the joysticks and I said, this is easy, this is like a video game. And I started touching it with my fingers, and I had Cheeto grease on my fingers, and I touched the crane. I touched, well actually, sort of with my crane, sort of a crane that you have on your hand. <laughs> For this reason, this and will be, <laughs> will be the last ever and I, show. And I touched the, the crane and I moved it with my, with my finger. <laughs> and that would be the last time. It swung the big ball into the <laughs> into Jonathan Tupin's nice venue. And what happened is that it broke the window and now we're getting sued by Barry Presents. Okay, <laughs> this song is called Blue. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be the last ever performance good? of the band. So just, yeah, we're breaking up. Enjoy while you can. Because of my accident with the train. I'm gonna go 